Next in the den, Dan Diamond and Dimitri Lloyd, two hardworking guys who say they've built a better hammer. And who better to test it than one of Canada's top contractors? But they have no idea the Dragons have invited a special guest to give their new tool a try. Yeah, something about a guy in a tool belt, I gotta say. <clears throat> <laughs> huh. Hello, Dragons. I'm Daniel Diamond. And I'm Demetrius Lloyd. We're here today to show you the pea shooter. The what? We're, we're the here from shooter? Calgary today to show you the pea shooter. We'd like to ask you for $75,000 for 30% stake in our company. We have some examples of the tool that we'd like to hand out if you'd like to see them while we're doing our demo. Sure. So, this is our Great, package product, you. ready to go. I know very little about tools other than the four that I sit up here with. <laughs> so maybe we should bring in somebody who uh, knows more about tools who can help us with uh, your demonstration. Is that okay? Please. Okay. Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> He's got overalls on. I like that. Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Mike Holmes is Canada's contracting expert. He helps homeowners make it right. Now the Dragons want to see if he'll help hammer out a deal. What do you have here? The pea shooter is a tool designed to hammer nails where a hammer can't reach. It comes from the concrete construction industry, which Dimitri is a concrete forming carpenter. They often encounter obstacles that it's really difficult to get in with a hammer. This demonstration here is to represent rebar. This is the form. Thank goodness you're here, Mike, because I I, he lost me at rebar. I'm like totally gone. <laughs> but he got you with the tool belt. He got me with the tool belt. So give me a nail. The pea shooter is a long tube with a magnetized end that holds a nail. It's made for those hard to reach jobs. Once you position your nail, a few wallops easily Excellent. hammers it into place. Works. Does it work? Does it work? Yes. How many have you sold? We sold about 50 units. We have not made sales our priority. The 75 is to get us to make a batch of 1,000, which takes us from very small profit, making a small number, to a significant profit per tool. Don't you think they're doing this kind of backwards? I don't know, maybe it's a first to market strategy. Mike, have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, no, there's nothing like this on the market. It's actually a very smart idea. Everyone's trying to come up with a smart hammer. It is the ultimate tool that every homeowner has. What I like is you're never gonna hit your finger unless you're foolish enough to hold it here, right? Then you're gonna pinch yourself yeah. and you'll probably do yeah, that Yeah, that's once. why there's, we've got yeah. the grips there. How many hammers would a typical professional carpenter carry? Um, I usually have around 10, but uh, I would <laughs> say at least three. So enhanced hammering products, how big a market can that be? How, how excited should an investor get about a single hammering device? I find it very, very niche. It doesn't mean it's bad, it's just not for me. I'm out. Guys, I, I, um, I respect that Mike Like said, I can't, I, I have absolutely no expertise in this market. I'm out. You know, I think it's not a bad product, but it's not for me and I'm out. I control the Bolt Supply House in Calgary with a partner, and we would take this product in a heartbeat. We move a lot of tools. All you have to do is market it that they won't hit their fingers, that it's easy to use, and they'll buy it. The safe Sits hammer. Sits in the box mm -hmm. easier, the safe hammer. But is Home Harbor gonna carry this for the average guy? I can see it selling for homeowners, I really do. Are you thinking about coming back in? We're just having a conversation here, do you mind? You said you were out, I don't know why you're having a conversation. I'm gonna make you an offer that's gonna rely on Arlene and on Mike, and it'd be $75,000 for half the company. Mike would be welcome to come in for 25 and bring his endorsement and his interest in refining the tools. Arlene would be welcome to come in and bring her marketing expertise. And I've also got some distribution and an interest in tools. So that would be a $75,000 offer. 
Are you interested in this, Mike? I'm highly interested in this. I'm interested if you're interested. This is something I would say Holmes approved. Really? Absolutely. Interesting. Well, that says a lot. I'll put in 25000 and I will mark the product. But you've got to listen to the differences and the changes we need to make on it. You have an idea here. If you were to go anywhere on the street and get 75 grand from someone, who's going to do it better than the then, three of yeah, us absolutely. with you? Absolutely. Who? Absolutely. I'm in, 100%. I'm in. Thank you. And uh, we're looking forward to your guidance and your help to do this. Great. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Good. You, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. We'll make it right together. We'll make it right together. Good luck. Smart man. It's yeah. Great. This is a tool everyone will use. I'm surprised I never thought of it. I wasn't expecting Mike Holmes to walk through the door. He knows everything about everything, so we're, they couldn't ask for anything better, that's for sure. All right, on, buddy.